Okay, hi, so great to be with you, and I'm really thrilled to be with two really, really long time dear friends and incredible colleagues who are phenomenal physical therapists and have taught me so much over the years. I've grown so much knowing these ladies, really tremendous. Jan Ghost. Hutchinson Bye. and Rebecca Kernsteiner, and just, um, I'm thrilled have y'all here and really uh, we're, we're I, I've just asked them to say a little something about uh, what it's been like to experience um, our work together over the years they've seen me grow tremendously and my inquiry and uh, we're so much in the inquiry of uh, how do we support biomechanics with biointelligence that's a really deep inquiry. How do we become more embodied in our movement? And what does that really mean? What does that mean from a human perspective? You know? So I'd love to just have, um, yeah, each of you just kind of say what, um, what's, what that's like for you. Yeah, well, um, Wendy, it's been a privilege to know you all these years and to watch Wendy grow and um, expand as a practitioner. It's, she has just committed her life to this work. She has constantly studied, taken courses from anyone that she felt she could learn anything from to help her, I think, realize or have words or ability to express what she feels um, to be wise in the body, our wisdom, our wisdom that allows us to be able to move with the maximum amount of ease and efficiency. And it's definitely a, a um, process of turning deeply inward to find those answers. And so um, whenever I get a chance to work with Wendy, I always leave with more wisdom in my own body and more um, integration and more of a sense of how all the parts work together as a whole. And um, to me, that's a hard thing to find answers to. And I'm grateful for Jan and Wendy that we all three share this um, desire, deep desire, this hunger, and this curiosity and this wonder and reverence for the body. And, um, and as it begins to unfold for us, it just becomes more of a, a powerful and reverent experience. So mm. um, that's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm proud of you and admire you. Support you. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Such a privilege. Such a privilege to know one another. Yeah. Jan's going to say something. Rebecca has actually got to run right now. Yeah. But thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Rebecca's just left us, All right. you know, and uh, so grateful to have her here along with you. And um, so, Jan, I just deeply appreciate you too. Oh, you are <laughs> one of my very, very best friends. So, <laughs> And it's interesting how we came about because it came from my need. Um, I had physical issues and I had very good friends who were being helped by you who suggested that I might be interested in this amazing movement practitioner that they had discovered and I tell people all the time that the major gains that I got out of uh, the first year of working with you how they have perpetuated my changes in body movement and my whole approach into how I want to train people and also to come back to you with, mm. with, with discoveries that I made coming out of the, of the motions that you had told me about using. So I would practice these forms and then come back to you and say, hey, I'm noticing this. Is this supposed to be happening as an outgrowth of, the, of these movement patterns? Mm. And we would share, we would go back and forth with what we were learning. And so this amazing growth that has occurred for both of us, and particularly for you, because, well, it is your heart and soul. Yeah. For me, as a physical therapist, I had other modalities that I was also pursuing, but 
Um, to this day, I tell them Wendy is the one who narrowed my base of support. She's the one who told me and taught me what a hip hinge, a really good deep hip hinge was. She's the one who um, got me to engage through my foot. Mm -hmm. and, and I hadn't realized that, that putting contact on various sections of my foot would evoke a different response out of my legs and then mm -hmm. out of the rest of the mm -hmm. system itself. Mm -hmm. So you were always a great sounding board because there was no one in my profession mm -hmm. who, who seemed to be interested in taking on these movements of integration, these moments of oh, when I push here, this responds, and now that travels up over there, and mm. is that what's supposed to be happening here? Mm. And then seeing you, um, you expanding, and, and the new, the new um, concepts that you've developed, and your languaging, and you just, you just burst like a Nova. <laughs> <laughs> into space with all of this and I love it I absolutely mm. love it and mm. I'm so blessed mm. to be um, part of your network that gets some of the sparkles as you go mm. as you go along your way mm. and um, and the biggest part I think your biggest growing edge has been the fact that you have not been harshly married to your your training or to a perception of how this has to be. Mm. And as Rebecca mentioned, you were sources of information. You you weren't limited in who you listened to and who you pursued. And I think mm. that is what is what's giving you this incredible work. Mm. Mm. And um, thank you so much, Jan. You know, I'm uh, I hope um, you all can really hear the kernels of gold that Jan is, is speaking from, because that's, that's really my purpose with this interview, is to, to uh, listen to deeply generous um, therapists. I mean, you're such a dear, you and Rebecca are such dear friends, and I mean, you and I have known one another for 25 years. Yes. And, um, and, and what is it, how do we, Jan's been that for me too, you know, how you have always been a, someone who, as, as long as you've been a physical therapist, which is for a very long time, mm -hmm. how you've always looked outside. You've appreciated your profession, but you've always looked outside at what's the latest? What, what mm -hmm. are the new findings rather than, oh, I guess this is what I have to protect. This is what I have right. to do. This is in the field of physical therapy. What yeah. is it this that, is our domain. that, yeah, what yeah. can actually feed my, my, the way how I'm looking what what can it feed how I'm touching what mm -hmm. what feeds my way of my ground of being with someone and so you have fed me so much uh, in, in over the years and uh, and that um, I'm, I'm deeply grateful to so grateful well so. it's gone both ways <laughs> bigger so you see it's like how do you how do you, as a Pilates teacher or a yoga teacher, how do you look, how do you appreciate your training? Appreciate wherever, whatever training you've had, which is wonderful. I mean, I really appreciate having studied with Ramana and with Kathy and uh, Ramana and, and with Kathy Grant and with Ron Fletcher and with um, Mary Bowen and Lolita. And, um, but, but how do we take that, that that kernel that is so rich and how do we stand on the shoulders of that um, that gift so that we're always looking at a deeper understanding of embodiment a deeper understanding of how do we have an exercise become personal mm -hmm. rather than it's Ron's perspective or Ramana's perspective or a physical therapist's perspective how do we have um, how do we have movement be who we are rather than something that we do which was, mm -hmm. was such a beautiful quote by Emily Conrad, you know. So um, to to look at what feeds our spirit, what is it that enlivens our spirit? So well, I knew I was being asked to experience it differently when I came to you because I'd already had a fair amount of Alexander and Feldenkrais work. Mm. So um, and I hadn't walked away with the same sense of ownership or. I would say too that I, I love the fact that you changed the positioning of the body. 
you you got us to experience ourselves in multiple um, formations mm. and that wasn't always true with these other mm. forms of uh, body training so and it was what fascinated me as a therapist because I really felt that people were not were not changing the forms that they were exercising themselves through mm. so everybody either did squats or everybody did deep lunges and I was going that's not the way to get mm. all this going mm. I mean mm. it's mm. not a power thing mm -hmm. and and that's what I really took away from mm. a lot of the Pilates training mm. that mm. I kept telling them you're going to have more variety of movement they're going to move you through space you're going to move your limbs around your body in ways you haven't experienced before. right right so and yeah. the big thing that we're really looking at now is how do we take how do we respect the place we came from in in uh, which is there was more of core control of just the abdominals as a place of concentration and how do right. we take that into core coordination so there's more of an integration through the whole body with the abdominals as part of the movement rather than a concentrated center thing. yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so I anyway. agree yeah thank you Got for it. being with us yeah. such a privilege and always yeah thank you mm -hmm. Bye.